10 Fascinating Facts About the Alaskan Malamute 10 Fascinating Facts About the Alaskan Malamute Alaskan Malamutes are large and awesome dogs to have but they are not for everybody. Powerful and temperamental, these dogs usually require an experienced and firm hand in training, as well as a specific lifestyle. So, to find out if this is a suitable breed for you, let's go over the 10 fascinating facts about the Alaskan Malamute below. Number 10. Alaskan Malamutes have a standard lifespan for their size and are relatively healthy. The average lifespan of the Alaskan Malamute is 10 to 12 years which is on par with other large breeds such as the Husky, Lab, and Golden Retrievers, and others. In fact, as the Alaskan Malamute is even larger than them and borders the giant breed category, a 12-year average lifespan is quite nice. Number 9. The Alaskan Malamute is not as vocal as the Husky but can still howl from time to time. Huskies are famous like the prima donnas of the canine world right alongside beagles. Alaskan Malamutes are fortunately not as bad and can be more easily taught to be quiet when they need to. Still, these dogs howl and can do so, especially when you're away for work and their separation anxiety kicks in. The best thing to do? Good training, avoid separation anxiety, and talk things through with your neighbors before you even get a 95-pound howler near them. Number 8. This breed really isn't suitable for hot or even warm climates. Another thing that should be a no-brainer is that, like the Husky, the Alaskan Malamute doesn't do well in warm climates. If you live in a moderate climate your dog should be alright but you'd still want to be careful in the summer. Always have water with you just in case, and make sure to watch out for the classic signs of overheating in dogs. Number 7. Alaskan Malamutes shed a lot. More than most people suspect, Huskies are notorious shedders and Alaskan Malamutes are not much different. This breed doesn't just have a thick double coat but it also blows it out two or three times every year and continues to shed the rest of it all year round too. So, prepare for lots of brushing and grooming. Daily brushing really is a must and we strongly recommend equipping yourself with some adequate tools and not just an ordinary hairbrush. Monthly baths are usually a good idea but what's even better are two or three trips to a professional groomer every year, especially before the coat blowouts in the spring and autumn. Number 6. Get ready for some digging if you have a yard. For some reason, Malamutes absolutely love to dig. This is something we're used to seeing from scent hounds like the Dachshund but can be surprising from a Spitz breed. It isn't necessarily a problem of course, as Malamutes are usually large enough not to bother with small flower pots. But it is something to consider if you want to give your dog alone time in the yard. Speaking of the yard time again. It should go without saying that your yard needs to be very well fenced due to the Malamutes prey drive. Number 5. Socialization is key if you want your dog to get along with other people and animals too. Speaking of interactions with others, an Alaskan Malamute will need thorough socialization early on too. While not a dedicated guard dog breed, the Malamute can be reserved around strangers and can be competitive with other dogs, that can be risky with such a strong animal. So, proper socialization is required to make sure your dog feels and behaves well around guests, strangers, other children, and other dogs. The same goes for living with non-canine pets such as cats although that's usually extra difficult due to the Malamute's powerful prey drive. Number 4. Alaskan Malamutes are affectionate and gentle with their human families, for all their size, energy, and power. Once they get their daily exercise and playtime, Alaskan Malamutes quickly turn into giant huggable teddy bears. They love to snuggle with you, to be petted, and to interact with and love all their family members, regardless of how big your family is. Does this make them good with kids? Yes, but only if the dog is well trained and the child is big enough to avoid accidents, lying on the baby, the kid falling from the dog, etc. Number 3. Being a working dog breed doesn't necessarily make Alaskan Malamutes overly obedient and easy to train. Like Huskies, Alaskan Malamutes are very opinionated and willful dogs. This makes early obedience training an absolute must if you want to be able to get your Malamute to do anything. Even more so, given these dogs' size and power, such training is essential if you want them to be safe around others. Number 2. As a working dog breed, the Alaskan Malamute needs a job in addition to plenty of exercise and playtime. Malamutes are both long-distance runners and a working dog breed. They were bred not just as sled pullers like the Huskies but also to help around the farm, to carry stuff, as guard and watchdogs, and more. This means a few things from a modern pet owner's point of view. First. Your Malamute will require plenty of outdoor time every day, at least 90 to 120 minutes of it. Secondly, this outdoor time doesn't include yard time, that's extra and it's also beneficial but not enough on its own. 
Thirdly, Malamutes don't just need to jog around, they need to do things, this is a working breed. So, consider stuff such as sledding, karting, pulling a cart, ski during, pulling someone on a ski, agility classes, and so on. Number 1. Malamutes are a very large and strong breed, many people look at the Alaskan Malamute as just a large husky. And while that's overly simplistic and doesn't describe the Malamute fully, it is true that these dogs are considerably larger than most other technically large breeds. The standard adult and fit Alaskan Malamute will be somewhere between 22 and 26 inches tall at the shoulder, 56 and 66 centimeters, and will weigh between 71 and 95 pounds, 32 and 43 kilograms.